Hi everyone. Today on my workbench I have Janelle's Breckwell brand pellet stove controller. This is a newer model. It's a digital version of the Breckwell controller. Uh, Janelle sent it to me because she was having a lot of issues with it. And uh, after doing some testing and troubleshooting I replaced a couple components. Uh, and it's now ready for my abbreviated final test procedure. So basically I've currently got it connected to my Pell tester and uh, it's going cycling through uh, the motions on a startup. So it's been about uh, nine and a half, ten minutes since I started it up. So we see that we have the igniter motor is run or the igniter is on, the uh, combustion fan, the one marked in blue is on, the yellow light is the auger and you see cycling on and off and we have the convection fan which is marked in red that's the room fan it's on it's on because my tester has the proof of fire so that's the alarm thank you google uh, that's the alarm saying that it's okay google thank you that's the alarm telling me that it was about ten and a half minutes since uh, startup and we just saw the igniter go off that was the reason for that timer so that shows that the controller has the capability of turning the, the igniter on and off. At the same time, the controller has the capability of turning the auger. 10 minutes and 30 seconds added to your timer called element off. The, the auger is cycling on and off, so the controller has the capability of turning that on and off. I've tested it already. If I unplug or I disconnect the proof of fire, the com convection room fan will go off and we see that the controller can turn the combustion on and off the combustion fan. A couple things I'll go through here on the controller itself is the diagnostics panel. I can cycle through the different LED positions and we see we're now at two, three, four, five. It jumped four real quick on me because I double pressed it. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, as I cycle through. And if I go back to position number one, I'm able to do the trim test, which, as you can see, I went to five, it'll go back to four, off, five, four, off, five, four, off. So all of that is functioning correctly, Janelle. Um, looks like your controller is just ready to go. I'm gonna return it to you. Um, we have to have a little bit of a discussion about this one though, but um, I have a high level of confidence that your controller is now fully functional and ready to work in your stove once again. So thank you very much for sending it to me. I appreciate it very much. Um, if any of you other Breckwell owners out there have a pellet stove controller that you're having problems with, whether you want it tested or you want some repairs done on it, uh, look for my contact information in the video comments below and uh, uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.